First up, we'll talk about the Burnley Man U game. The only thing, my only real point about Man U is that they finally, I felt in this game they embraced the fact that they need to sit and counter, and that's just kind of who they are. Um, and what separates Man U is that they have the individual quality Bruno, and I, I, they showed in flashes. He's good. He's good. Bruno's good, man. They showed in flashes. And the only other point to make is that Johnny Evans, who's getting so much stick, talking about the Crypt Keeper's dad and whatnot, comes in and is their best player. It wasn't just the goal. He was their best player. He scored, and they took a goal, the, the goal away from him. He, he had a goal that was offsides, or there was a foul or whatever it was. You know, so that's not... That's not great. It's not something that's awesome for Man U. They're still a shambles. But this goal is fantastic. But this kind of leads to the point that I was talking about. They find a way. They find a way. Yeah, it was gross. I didn't I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> but uh but yeah. Any points you want to make on that one, Patrick? Uh I saw the Bruno goal. That's the only thing I really saw. Um That's all there was to see. That's all you need. That's all you need to see. Nice goal. Uh, I will give him credit. That was a that was a good finish. So yeah. Let's did see. They, did they get a clean sheet or did they give up a goal? No, it was no, one nil. Oh, one-nil. look at Onana getting this a clean sheet. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We got to sort of, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, but uh, they're still in the mud. It was a tough game at at Burnley. You know, it's not the same man you were used to. But um, you know. yeah. speaking of. Games that nobody wanted to watch. Palace and Fulham played out a nice, invigorating, boring nil-nil draw that I, I didn't, didn't watch at all. One, man. I didn't, I, I I didn't even watch the highlights. It was nil-nil. There's no point. Uh, yeah, even even Robbie uh, Robbie Earl on the NBC said it was boring, so I just didn't even bother. Um, I did watch the Lutton Wolves game. Uh, Lutton are bad, man. That's what it just. It just that's. Straight up, it just comes down to they they they're bad, and I think they were lucky in this game. It was one of those handballs, just like the Romero one, where it's like the ruling is harsh. The rule itself is harsh. You know, uh, Neto Neto was giving them he was running riot, running rampant over Lutton until the red card. Uh, you know, and so I think Lutton are very lucky, and I think Wolves were wasteful once again. Uh, story of their season so far. Huge surprise at the G Tech. I didn't think that Everton even knew how to press like this. I didn't even think they, they had three goals, they scored three goals. It, it infuriates me, it infuriates me a little bit to see Sean Dyche come out of his shell and let them play and express themselves. I mean, I get, I, I get it that you're going to sit back against Arsenal, but like Brighton is no, you know, the disrespect they showed to Bright to Brentford. And I mean, I guess, Hey, justified got, you know, is this their one result? Just like the Brighton game where they just come with a shocker. Or is the fact that Brentford had a couple injuries uh, really the big story here? Because I was I watched this game and, and Everton were like they were good. They proved that there's a performance in there. They pressed really high and scored three goals. I was shocked. Two things you don't expect yeah, from Everton. I, I think I think the text I sent y'all was like, wait, hold up, Everton scored three goals and won three nil. <laughs> Like, am I reading this right? <laughs> yeah, I was I was shocked by that. Um, but credit to Everton. They pulled themselves out of the bottom, uh, you know, which is definitely a good thing. Uh, they still going to struggle this season, I think, but uh, that's a massive result uh, for them. And it just proves that they don't – They can play differently. Play differently, please, because it's super boring and negative and not fun to watch when you don't, uh, you know. But uh, 
it's there. They can survive. It's proof that they're, that survival is possible. I'm not backing them to do it, yeah. <laughs> but it's proof that it's there. They're you know. supposed to go through some ownership uh, change in uh, yeah. December, I think. Yeah, I think so. Probably best. It would Probably be best. best. It really would. Yeah. You might actually spend in January. Stay yeah. up. Yeah. Let's see. I think uh, another really good game this weekend, Liverpool-West Ham was actually a, uh, a pretty good yeah. game. Yeah. Um, West Ham should have been up at halftime. Squandered a chance to go 2-1. Uh, I think that Antonio talking all that trash in the week comes back to bite him, uh, especially since he's the one that missed the sitter. <laughs> um, but, yeah, West Ham looking better, but, I mean – Still Anfield, uh, is still Mo Salah. Like Mo Salah, resurgent man, having having a, season, man. having a season for yeah, sure. Season. Um, clear pen, no arguments on the pen. Definite penalty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Liverpool, man, I, I'm worried about Liverpool. Same I am. I definitely legit. am. They're le- they're legit, and we're gonna see next Sunday. The Spurs Liverpool game is gonna be good. That'll be fun to watch. It's gonna be fun I, to I watch for Spurs sure. Gonna, I think Spurs will give them a game. I think. Oh, it'll be a game. It'll be a game for sure. I mean, I'm you know, and, I'm and obvi- obviously cheering for Liverpool, but they're in I mean, London. I'm cheering nil nil. Is what no, I want to see. Arrow score an own goal for. I hope so. I really want what what I really want to see is I want to see a four four. I just want to see a crazy game as long as they draw. Yeah. As long as both teams drop points, I'm cool with that. No, there's um, goals in this game, man. There's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's going to be goals. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Liverpool scoring for fun. Um, they didn't start as horrifically as they normally do, which is you don't want to see that, you know, because they're turning that around as well. So they're getting better and better. Uh, Nunez scores again. Yeah, another, was another one. he looks comfortable. He looks really comfortable. Another one having a having a great season. I feel like you know it was coming. We kind of all knew it would. He would, you know, and uh, he's doing good, well, playing well with Salah. Uh, Luis Diaz is a he's, is a, a beast, beast man. man. He's yeah. So uh, I'm definitely worried about Liverpool. They're they're gonna do good. I think um, if they have a mind, they could wipe the Europa League. To be honest, they struggled against Lask, but they didn't start well in that game. And but they turned that around and they started decently against this one. I guess they knew they would have to, and so Klopp had them ready. Uh, and I think it goes back to you know this season has been a lot about in-game management. The five sub thing is really coming into play, huge. Uh, so huge. and Klopp's ability to see what's going on and make little adjustments is is proving to be big so far it's another three one uh you know um and so i think their defense has been playing better than people expected and so uh they are having success and like i say they're gonna be they're gonna be really really van tough dyke to gonna beat. be back for the um the spurs game van dyke played last time last week he played in this oh, game I thought, he was out. I thought he was out no he definitely he played in this oh, game so yeah last one that's right My mistake. yeah so he'll uh he'll definitely be playing uh, another three-one that took place, pretty much uh, how we expected it to. Well, not how, but the scoreline. I called Brent, uh, Brighton. I think I got this one right. Three-one, or no, I said three-nil. Uh, but uh, it was one-one at halftime. This, so Bournemouth actually gave him a game. Um, but beast, yeah, beast. There's just too. There's just too much quality. On that uh, on that Seagulls team, uh, I don't think Matoma's going to be there. No, he won't. He's gone. Yeah, you got it. You got this right. Billion dollars for that. Yeah, they paid three million bucks for Matoma. They probably gonna, get. They're going to probably going to make a hundred million dollars on him easily. Yeah. He's good. He's freaking good. He's incredible. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, Brighton keep rolling. Leapfrog Arsenal. Lame. Gross. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, an expected win, good win. Uh, Deserby still kicking, still doing it. Uh, speaking of kicking, 
a team while they're down. Goodness Where's gracious. The team? Where is it? Where is it? <sighs> oh, man. He's already dead. Already. He's already dead. This one was bad. But what's crazy about it is if you go, go back and watch the extended highlights, the first two highlights, NBC is highlights package. The first two highlights are Sheffield chances. She chances for Sheffield to score. It was nil-nil to like the 23rd. And then it wasn't. And then it wasn't, yeah. And then it oh. wasn't. Wow. I can't even, like, and it was eight different goal scorers. Yeah, that was crazy. It felt like Isak and, Will and Wilson just had a field day. It, it was Dan Burn got a goal. Dan Burn got on the score sheet. It was very FIFA on whatever the lowest level it was. Yeah, they had yeah on amateur on beginner mode for sure. Because if you're playing beginner mode and you don't score 35 goals, you're not playing right. <laughs> yeah, I mean that they just capitulated. Like I just based on what we've seen from Sheffield so far, I did not expect this at all. Uh, also, based on what we've seen from Newcastle, like they're such a Jekyll High team, man. You yeah, don't know what they're but they're running on a high right now. Think about it. They got a one nil last weekend, then they got a draw in Milan, and now they dropped dropped eight. Yeah, they're and, actually and, starting to round into form, maybe. And they're hosting well, City next. But I mean, if you if you look at them, they so they started and they won three, then they lost three, then they had uh, a one nil, a, a draw, and then an eight nil. I mean, if you follow their trends, that means that they're gonna go on a three game trend of whatever it is, yeah, based on how they play. Jake's hoping for W's. <laughs> I mean, I don't care about the I don't care about the energy yeah. drink cup. I don't think he's going to be bothered by that at all. I don't I don't care about the energy drink cup at all. Uh, you know, the new mentality is if Arsenal are going to win the quad, I want to beat City in every competition. I just want a misery. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not saying you for people who for people who have kept up with us these two and a half hours. I'm not saying that Arsenal are going to win the quad. <laughs> no, you said I'm, that's what you want. I, I hear you. I'm saying if we have any, you know, if we want to win the quad, let's let's beat City four times this season. What, what's the the quote? I think it was Ric Flair. I won't woo or have blonde hair, but to be the man, you got to beat the man. So you, yes, you, you might as well you might as well go to him. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and uh, Newcastle, they definitely beat the man uh, eight different times in this one. Uh, Definitely, that was the final game rounded up. A wonderful weekend in the league. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. It was a cra few crazy games. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. We're looking forward to the League Cup action uh, just because there is action. Uh, like I say, I hope Arsenal goes for it. Chelsea definitely needs something positive to happen versus Brighton. And uh, the Newcastle City game should definitely be interesting. Uh, I don't know how many of these I'm going to be able to catch. Uh, at least one of them. I know I'll be watching the Arsenal game at the very least. But uh, other than that, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to it. So if uh, you are as well, go ahead and get the likes up on the video. Uh, thanks for being here. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 100. We're so very close. 95 subscribers. Let's get those five over the line up to 100, up to triple digits. We are on our way. Uh, yeah, so thanks again for being here. Thanks for listening, and we will see you next time.